Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sexy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I just wanted to make a very quick video here, so I'm going to skip the normal intro and just leave it with, if you would like to work with me in any fashion, all of that information is in the Dropbox below, as well as information on my channel memberships, which I have here on YouTube. And this is inspired because of my channel membership that I had today, this little video. I'm going to read something. I just read this in another video, but I'm going to read it again because I think it needs to hit home. Facts. F-A-C-T-S. Facts. Based upon reason. Reasoning. And the evidence of the senses which oppose the idea-seeking expression. Rob you of the belief in the reality of the invisible state. But faith is the evidence of things not seen and through it. Good calleth those things which be not as though they were. Romans 4, 17. I just read this in uh, my other video on, on senses, and I'm going to read it again to you. Well, I guess I just did. I'm going to kim it down. I want you to hear this. So facts, facts that we think we see in the 3D. Anything that you're experiencing in your 3D that you do not like, that is not favorable to you, that is not you, having your manifestation okay so what you're seeing what you're hearing what you're using your five senses to interpret in your 3d they appear as facts to you because you are using your limited logical literal linear five senses to see them so if you're 3d in this moment, as you are watching my video, is not what you want and you are discouraged by it or are you feeling like your manifestations aren't working, you're making that decision through the reasoning and the evidence of your 3D that you are seeing and understanding and believing based off your five senses. Do you hear me? This is the exact thing that has nothing to do with your manifestation. What you see out in your 3D, what you're experiencing out here is the manifestation or the materialization of a 3D world that was manifested from your limited self. So we, we do not care what 3D is showing us until it shows us our full manifestation. And the way to get your full manifestation is to change self, to no longer be the version of you that created that shit. This is a journey of self. And the way we change self is through using any manifestation technique you enjoy. So if you enjoy affirming you're going to change self by affirming. You're going to tell yourself that you are new self. You are the version of you that has your manifestation. I am the version of myself that is in a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with the most pleasurable version of my specific person. That's who I am. That's who I am now. Literally, that's not who I was. That's not who I used to be. And that's why my reality didn't show me what I wanted until I changed self. So if you like visualizing, you're going to visualize a scene of you doing something that implies you have your manifestation. You can use inner conversations. If you're manifesting a specific person, you're going to have that manifestation or that person Talk to you or you're going to talk to a specific person in an inner conversation. And as you're having that inner conversation, that is helping you step into your version of self that has the manifestation. You can use any technique you want, but the idea is to allow that technique to change self. If you're not seeing your desire or even movement of your desire in the 3D, do not Assume, because based off of your five senses, that it's not working. Your five senses do not apply to your imagination. 
and how you're manifesting is through your imagination. Your imagination is the true reality, not the 3D you're looking at right now. Up here is the imagination. So my, my little zhuzhi nugget for this very busy day is, guys, relax. Calm down. Don't assume that your manifestation is not coming. Don't assume that it is not working. Stop looking out here and making that decision. You're doing the exact thing that Neville himself and multiple other people who have spoke on this subject, other mystics, everyone in their own way delivers the message of who gives a shit what you're seeing, hearing, tasting, touching in that 3D or feeling, I guess it's touching, huh? Who cares what's out here? Out here is your old self's manifestation. This is a journey of changing self. That's all we ever have to do to manifest. So put your attention, your focus, your thought, your awareness on changing you, on changing self. And by changing you, this does not imply that there is something wrong with you that you need fixing, that you need healing. That is a myth. That is a limited belief. The only thing you need to do is decide that you are the you that has the manifestation. You are the you that is, it, that is financially abundant. You are the you that is in a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with the person of your choice or whatever it is you're manifesting. You are the you that has the appearance change. You are the you that has that job you're manifesting. There goes a motorcycle. You are the you that has it, okay? But this is never about thinking we are bad or that there's something wrong with us. That's never what manifestation is. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not a limited being. You really are limitless. You really are flawless simply because of who you are, which is consciousness or God or universe, higher power, source energy, whatever wording feels good to you. Don't waste your time trying to reason your 3D. Instead, Ask yourself, who are you being? Who are you being? Who do you really believe you are? Listen to the answer you get. And if the answer isn't that you are the you that comfortably knows they're going to have your desire, that it is going to absolutely materialize, that you are in the reality watching the unfolding, if you don't get that answer, then who are you being? Decide differently. Be different. Be the new you. Be the new you. And very quickly, I, like, I wanted to answer. Someone asked me the other day, how am I going to be the version of me that has more money? How do I know what it would feel like to have more money? Why do you want more money? Why do you want more money? What do you think that money is going to provide you? When I was manifesting money, I believed that that money was going to bring me safety, security. It was going to bring me joy because I would buy whatever I wanted. So that's what it would feel like to me to be abundant, to have money, safe, secure, comfortable, free to buy whatever I want. So what does that money mean to you? Do you see what I'm saying? This isn't hard. This doesn't have to be a long-winded, upsetting journey. We just have to sometimes remind ourselves who we are and why we are able to do this. Because of, because of our birthright of being the us that can have whatever we want. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. I think this is 1 Corinthians 15, 44. 
the spiritual body of imagination is not interlocked with man's environment. The spiritual body can withdraw from the outer man of sense and environment and imagine itself to be what it wants to be. And if it remains faithful to the vision, imagination will build for man a new environment in which to live. This is what is meant by the statement, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. John 14, 2, 3. The spiritual body, the spiritual you is in your imagination. That's what your imagination is. It's that connection to the 4D and above. The outer man of sense. The outer man. The you in the 3D is the outer man of sense, of environment. As you get your ass into your imagination, which is simply just dreaming, daydreaming, wishing, allowing yourself to think about what life would be if you had your manifestation. That's you entering your imagination, picturing yourself as having your desires, talking to yourself as if you have your desires, telling yourself that you are a new self. That is using your imagination. And if you continue to return to that, it will change the outer man's environment, 3D reality. That is manifestation. Here's my second video in, a, in, in the last two days on stop relying on your senses. We don't need them. We just need your imagination. So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.